Thanks for stopping by our new Back 30 channel. Please remember, click the subscribe button below. Up in the upper right corner, click that notification bell for our upcoming videos. Enjoy. Come. Good boy. On progress that we've done here on the land. Um, it's been over a year we've been here, caught up in the pandemic and the costs of lumber and everything, and then all the town nonsense. Um, we finally are able to get the green light to build. Um, in this video, I'm going to cover just a couple things on the land that we've done previously. I haven't done any videos, so here we go. We, uh, we dug out and cleared the land uh, last year. We've done roughly cut out of the driveway, um, just the beginning loop, which I'll show you in a moment. And then it's going to extend out towards the house once we get the foundation in and I get all my grades. So here is the loop. It comes in on the well house side. That's the well house that you see there. We temporarily put the well in there so we could live on the land. It comes down over to the, the actual well itself. And when the house goes in in the back there, I'll extend the line from there to the house. There'll be two lines. The well will be moved into the house. It'll come here, and then another line will come out that'll tie to the existing line for a barn that we're gonna be putting out there in the field. So for the driveway, we dug this out, and we sold roughly, oh, I wanna say 36 triaxles or 972 tons of stone so those are boulders these are large rounds I'm moving this across behind me I'll show you in a minute these are small rounds I'm separating out of that last pile Those are rock veneers. It's a long pile that's 25 tons. It's ready to go for the triaxle. Got one, two more loads of boulders. More large rounds that's mixed with small uh, rounds. This is the other side that was behind me, the second half of it. And this is going to be the boulder pile eventually. I've got so much rock on this land, got more back there, past my truck, way down on the hill, there's tons of stone, sorry if I'm making you sick, <laughs> this is where the foundation goes, all the rock I just showed you was just scraped off for the driveway, I have to dig all of that out still, and there's going to be tons of boulders, my buddy's over here um, doing pallets of uh, flat stone we have the uh, 
um, University of Connecticut. They just took eight of those pallets. off the land and we put the equivalent back in with that money so we started out with five minus kind of riffraff stuff to firm up the ground and then we went to a hey buddy hi Jax we went to a uh, three-quarter process stone the driveway is going to end up roughly 375 feet on each leg it's gonna come in and it's gonna be a circle up in the back here around the well and in front of the house so that's the driveway component we kept all the lumber here we didn't really get the pricing we wanted to sell it off so I kept it I bought a Woodland Mills uh, sawmill that's paid for itself um, and it helped us through the winter. Inside this is our RV that we're living in. And we've been here for over a year. <laughs> Amazingly, we're still married happily and moving forward. If you can't live together in a camper, you definitely can't stay married. That's for sure. So this is all 3 8 pine. Had a neighbor give me some pine wood that I didn't care about milled it all and this whole thing is screwed together so I can unscrew it take it apart and take it down I made an entry and we definitely stayed warm all this is the milled wood I made a barn door that I can open up and I put my skid steer in here during the winter with the snow, with the uh, snow plow on it so I could just plow out from there Excuse the mess here. We've lived in a camper, so it's kind of storage and stuff packed in here. Kudos to my neighbor John. He gave he got us a, uh, a wood stove here. Help keep the enclosure warm. There's our RV. And the town said we built an outbuilding and we're in violation. Gave us a cease and desist. And I explained to them, nothing is mounted on the ground. It's all up off the main beams of the camper and it's held that way. So this will all come down now that we're getting closer to solid warm weather overnight. Take that down and we'll continue in the camper till the house is built, which leads me on to now that we got the mortgage, I've been digging the foundation. Um, it's about Oh, I don't know. Two-thirds dug. I got to continue this way. So we took the dirt and I made the ramp for the concrete truck. And that's going to be the lower level. This is the bedroom, living room. Over there, I'm digging into where the kitchen goes. I'm on the hard pack digging in and some water's come up. From the surface, a couple spots here. So my next step is taking the footing down 32 inches. Came over here, machine, going lower than 32 inches, and I said, "Screw it." I dug way down. That's 12 feet roughly. But what's interesting is because that's so low let me come around here there's actually veins down low that are now bleeding out look at that
So, I'm anticipating, put a big flat stone there. I'm anticipating this remaining, that's all gonna collapse. And I'll get my sump in here and suck it on out. My foundation area will stay dry. feet deep completely filled up all the veins from the foundation it ended up filling back up up there and this stopped filling because that's the level of the veins so here's day two after digging this we are now pumping it out I'll wait for this to drain, let the veins drain up there, and I can start grading again. And then moving on past that boulder over to the pink stakes is the garage. It's gonna be a 40 by 35 garage. Uh, total square footage is gonna be roughly 5,000, 4,800, something to that nature. Um, I wanna give another shout out to my buddy Chad. He squeezed his big ass in here, pardon my language, and did a lot of help moving stone and dirt and whatever else. And yeah, so that's where we're at now. Um, kind of updated everybody on where we're at. Taking the dirt, raising the grade for the garage here and down and back for the concrete truck on this side. And uh, we'll go from here. We'll catch you on the next one, guys.